that grain follows through as if the tile was just cut and pushed back. Okay, so there it is. Okay, back again and I cleaned up all the tile that was that's been installed already. So this is this is all cleaned up. I cleaned it all up and I pre-cut this top row here and this is why it's very important that your walls be perfectly flat and perfectly plumb that way see here also here all perfectly flat that way you can pre-cut your tiles these are all the same size that's for this corner here and the smaller ones for this corner here so they're all pre-cut so that they all I don't have to worry about trying to figure out what they are I can just start in the corner and go and then these ones here when you get here it's very important that this corner be 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 very be plump as well so I had I had the plaster install this corner bead and I gave him a piece of the hydroband board so that he could put that in and that wouldn't slow me down putting in my the board when I when I got here so that's perfectly plumb that's perfectly plumb so all the tiles on this side are going to be all the same obviously alternating and same over here that tile is exactly the same size as the tile on the bottom Okay, so I gotta mark this hole to cut it. So the easiest way to mark it is extend your lines up and down. You can use a square, speed square for the vertical lines, and use the level for the horizontal lines. Now, when you have to mark your tile, you can just put it anywhere that's convenient to get your lines and the same up and down so now I, and then you got your square now I'm going to make a circle out of that and then we're going to cut it use whatever's convenient So I'll take that outside and use my grinder to cut that. Okay, so there it is. These aren't cemented in yet. I'm gonna cut that piece. Then I'll make some mortar. Cement those on. Continue up the wall. Okay, so when you're cutting holes in in tile for the discussions, you know, for the mixing bells and for the shower heads etc you want to make sure that the escutcheon will cover that hole so you don't want to cut it too big but you don't want to cut it too small and get all these cut so that's a little off but it'll get it'll get covered by by the discussion that one's good that one's good so just want to show you and then this one here, I cut with a grinder, with a dry cutting blade, and these ones here I cut with a hole saw, so you can get them individually, 
hopefully you can get them in a kit. So I have both. Uh, these kits are more expensive. Individually they're a little bit cheaper, but these are much better quality than those. But they both do the job. Okay, so a lot, a lot, a lot of cutting. This time holes and slivers. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, I got one of the niches done. So this is it's a hole here, a hole here, a hole here. Let's see how many full pieces we got on there. We got two full pieces on there. That one and that one. Everything else either has either a hole in it or it has or it had to be cut. So that took a while to do just because of the holes. And this here, so yesterday I put the bottom on. Today I put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This niche has fourteen pieces. So if you look at that, what we have, these are the pieces that came out of the tile. So this piece here was what fell off this tile. This piece here and this piece here is what came off that tile. And this piece here is what came off this tile here. So that grain, but when you step back and you look at it, that grain follows through as if the tile was just cut and pushed back and this you know this is the grain that goes through there and those are the pieces that I saved those ones down there for for this niche here so I'm gonna call it a day again and uh, be back tomorrow and I'll finish I'll finish that wall, get this started, and possibly do this niche here. This took a long time to do this niche, because you have to get, you know, you want everything to be nice and even, and exactly where it's supposed to be. I'll make a little bit of, a few more adjustments before I go. But anyway, that's that niche.